Good morning and happy June to everybody out there. The year is almost half over and we have so much to celebrate at Argonaut this month. It is the Chalk Art Festival this weekend, the Greek Festival, Whiskey Spin the Wheel for Father's Day weekend, Juneteenth and Gay Pride. A lot going on, plus Saturday some things with Mots. So welcome back, and today my really, really good friend Larry Galseran from Gallo Summit Mountain is here to showcase four of his wines that are between $15 and $20, very affordable, plus when Miss Sheila puts them on sale, you get even a bigger bargain. So Larry, welcome back to the table. Thank you, Max. Here we go. Let's start off with this beautiful Prosecco. Okay, Prosecco, La Marca. Everyone's familiar with La Marca, the blue label. Um, about two years ago, we came out with the rosé um, because it finally got uh, approved in the DOC uh, classification for uh, being approved to make. Uh, it's Pinot Noir blended with the Glare grape. So it gives it, you know, obviously the beautiful pink color, right. but also it just adds a little extra character to the wine. It's gorgeous. This has always been one of my favorites because it is dry, it's crisp, it's refreshing. Yeah, offers it's, a lot of fresh fruit, right, it's easy a, to drink. Absolutely, it's a dry rosé that would pair perfectly with fried chicken, mm -hmm. potato chips, oysters, salmon. Or and, all by itself? Oh, sure, sure. And keep in mind that in the Treviso area of Italy, north eastern Italy, mm. this is about an hour or two drive from Venice. Yeah. Can't beat that. Yeah. And it's gorgeous because it's so celebratory. Well, and with Prosecco, it's famous. It's one of the main comp pieces to your um, Aper Aperol Spritz. Oh, sure. Um, so Which we, we can't keep it on the shelf. It's yeah. so popular and so it's tasty. Still just flies off the shelf. I love it. And I'm but. getting cranberry and rhubarb and pomegranate. Yeah, and still get some of the white flavors like pear. Yep. Um, Absolutely. And red apple, but um, great, great sparkling wine to, to pair with mm -hmm. or enjoy by itself. Yeah. Yeah. So wine number two, we're wine moving number across two. the pond to... So <clears throat> now we're uh, coming out of predominantly Russian River Valley, but still sourcing fruit from others. So they kind of just mm -hmm. stick with the California Appalachian, all hand harvested fruit stainless steel so you can just show the characteristics of the of what the grape acid right. offer there's there's no malactic fermentation because they want that bright acid which is great mm -hmm. for pairing with salads cheeses light white mm -hmm. meats like yeah. grilled shrimp or sure or, turkey sandwiches even mm -hmm. paninis uh jay vineyards they're just so consistently good at what they do nicole hitchcock has been the head of the wine department for such a long time. And yeah. you can just taste her passion in this beautiful, beautiful glass of Pinot Gris. Yeah, this, uh, we just real, uh, found out we scored another 91 point rating. So it's just consistently vintage after vintage mm -hmm. hitting the 90 mark. Um, so Larry, tell our viewers the difference between Pinot Grigio and Pinot Gris. So Pinot Grigio and Pinot Gris genetically are the same grape, but right. They're usually made stylistically different. Pinot Grigio is, I guess you could say, more like citrus fruits, like your lemons, grapefruit. Um, you can pick up a little bit of mm -hmm. stone fruit as well. Sure. Pomelo, um, kiwi, lychee. Yeah. And Pinot Gris usually shows more like floral right. and tree orchard fruits. Um, also still showing some of that citrus fruit as well. Yeah, white so flowers. So when you taste them side by side, they, they're totally different types right. of wines. Even though they're the same varietal of grape. Yes, this just is, the way they're made and how they're grown. Absolutely, this is tasty and it's perfect for yeah. summer. Put a chill on this, pour it over ice, little squeeze of lime, you got yourself a cocktail. <laughs> yeah. So wine number three. So mm. wine number three, William Hill. Uh, they've been making wine and kind of pioneer in the Napa Valley area for over 40 years, a long time. And just to keep in mind, William Hill was actually a person, the founder of yep. this winery and this Pinot Noir before 
we tasted it. I put a slight chill on it, which I recommend not too long. It just brings out the vibrancy and the flavors. Okay, continue. Yeah, so <laughs> anyway, uh, the Pinot Noir is uh, <clears throat> mostly Central Coast fruit. Um, so you get the warm days, cool nights. So you get that longer growing season, which helps the fruit not only retain its acid, but also showcase all of its uh, lovely fruit oh, flavors. That's a big Raspberry. You know. Yeah, it's, I mean, this thing shows some baking spices. Yeah. I'm getting barbecue. I'm getting mm -hmm. smoke. Like you said, baking spices, five Chinese yeah. spices. Very approachable. No complex wine. It's just yeah. you don't fun want to it to pop be and, and enjoy. Yeah. Black cherry, black cherry cola, some mm -hmm. cassis and some kirsch. Yeah. Beautiful. This, with a little chill on it, would be great for something off the grill. Sausage and peppers, a little... Uh, even a grilled burger. I mean, yes, that I easy, mean, easy peasy. Yeah, grilled easy peasy, extra cheesy. Yeah, a uh, grilled cheeseburger. You don't want to overthink it. You no. don't want to overcomplicate it because the wine is just so beautiful. All these wines are just ready to pop and enjoy and right. pair with food or enjoy by itself. That's what makes these so great. And you don't have to lay it down. You just have to embrace it yeah. and appreciate it because we make these videos for you and we just so enjoy doing that because we see a lot of viewers come into Argonaut asking specifically about these wines and they're very happy when they get value for their money and these deliver these really deliver yeah I love it and again all between 15 and 20 right, retail right. every and day so with Miss Sheila's special pricing it's even better yeah it's so smooth it's so big and bold and unctuous yet affordable yeah i like it yeah which leads us to the last last one smith, smith and hook, hook established in 1980. i remember this uh started by uh, nikki han the yep. han family yes great um, great wine and by the way all of these wines here with exception of the sparkling they're all 100 percent varietal so all pinot gris all pinot noir and then this one all 100 percent cabernet they're sourcing the fruit from uh, San Antonio Valley, um, <clears throat> Arroyo Seco, and Paso Roble, so the three dominant vineyard areas, um, which Cabernet thrives in those particular yeah. areas. Um, again, warm days, cool nights, so yeah. just retaining the mm -hmm. acid as well as still showing bright, wow. rich fruit. Yeah, absolutely. This is rich. It's peppery. It's decadent. It's black raspberry, a little bit of black walnut it's mm -hmm. so tasty i get the cassis i get black cherry mm -hmm. and what i like about smith and hook they've had a winemaker there for decades literally his name is paul clifton and he's such a genius in his own right and he has now passed the torch to megan she's female mm -hmm. winemaker and does such a great job and this wine is so, like you said, approachable, so smooth and delicate, but still bold. Yeah, it, and it ages, 60% of the wine is aged on front new oak, mm -hmm. 16 months, Okay, blended with the stainless steel fruit. So you get a nice balance and rounded out mouthfeel. And this thing pairs great with pretty much anything off the yeah. grill. I, I mean, mean, I would, other than steak, I'm going to challenge you. You're an amazing chef. Well, what would you put. I, I mean, like a bolognese okay. would be a good pairing. Um, some of your hard cheeses, like your blue cheese, your aged cheddar, those would pair well nicely with this. Um, absolutely. Flank steak salad, pork mm. tenderloin, yeah. chimichurri sauce. It is, it's a big cab, it's a, yeah. a heavier cab. So you would want to pair it correctly i wouldn't give this to a chicken caesar salad no but everybody is out there maybe your pinot gris sure out. sure everybody out there is experienced you know what you're drinking and you like what you're drinking yeah and that's why we're here because we want you to drink <laughs> and this is <laughs> such a great lineup larry thank you and i'm just so happy that you could introduce these wines to 
the Argonaut and all of our, our viewers. Yeah. Because we want you to come down to Argonaut, just FYI, the weekend of June 15th when we spin the whiskey wheel. We open at 8 a.m., get here before then. And as, as a special bonus, if you join Aaron's wine club between now and June 7th, we will have a random drawing on that weekend and you or somebody will get a golden ticket and you can jump right to the front of the line for the whiskey spinoff. But that's if you join Aaron's wine club. So that's definitely an incentive. Absolutely. Larry, thank you so much for introducing thank these wines to us and happy Pride Juneteenth Father's Day month to everybody out there. We hope to see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.